subscription to this channel and also your contribution in making this channel a success one way or the other i appreciate so much for some time now we are discussing on how you can design a free engineer and i've given explanation different from on how you can do that and i talk about the retrieval motor i talk about the generator i talk about how you can refurbish the trim motor in a case where you don't have sufficient cash to do a new generator i also talk about how you can refurbish the old one so they can have a good product on that i also talk about from fund today i'm going to look at how you to power a village with a 50 500 kV a generator how to power a village with 500 kV generator I have to bring this uh, production because some few months ago somebody asked a question that he wants to run a village he wants to buy his own village and he asked him question how he would do how to go about it he is giving me some instances and I said I need to know about this area I want to run my village and what do I do to do this and what are the configuration what are the requirements today I believe this production will answer that question very well you know some villages has need only 500 uh, I would like 500 uh, kV have much consumption rate you got to calculate the electric consumption of the whole community many a time is not up to 200 uh, thousand wax sometimes is maybe 150 some 300 if the community is very big because I happen to also be in a community where I know the com they are consumption ratio because some don't have even ace a few that have uh, so the high consumption rate is not a must so I have to bring this video because I believe it will really help you to power the system to help you to make the system work in your village now for instance this is a, a good example of this if you observe the generator as it would now is 500 thousand kV wax 500 thousand wax size 500 kV we have one kV 2 kV 10 kV 20 kV 100 kV thousand wax like 500 kV so if you want to power your village you have this kind of generator mounted in your village square or you have like this two your villages will be electrified completely without uh waiting for nepal or whatever or whatever electric company to buy so this is what i'm going to do so how do you do this first of all you need a big generator of this nature if you have this little generator you can see that it's very big it's large enough the quantity the size of the generator because sometimes we confuse that the bigger the generator the bigger the rpm no sometimes the bigger the generator the lesser the rpm because some generator does not require much uh, rpm to run just quite a little but like the horsepower must be large so this is how it is then this one is uh, the motor it's just 550 uh, uh, rpm it's not equal to 1000 compared to some sizes of this of this generator which sometimes is 1000 3000 so you can see that the last the larger the the generator the lesser the rpm the rpm i've discussed that over occasion in my last videos and many videos that my past videos that is the the routine per minute and the rate i put generator can run to give you the required production required capacity you want that is the rpm so this is what exactly we are talking about now so the rpm of of the generator is now is just 450 so but the capacity production rate is 500 kva that is thousand watts make one kva i'll do that a video on that on the major on the electricity measurement system but this is what i'm talking about so now let's take a look at the the system itself now look so look at me this is let's talk about now. This basic now is 599 RPM scale. Sorry, so I'm like this. So you can see the ratio of the listen. And then the mega is 20. Now look at now. This here mega is 20. But you know this mega is on this one is 50. You now see as small the generator is the mega is 50. But as big as the generator is, the mega is 20. So you now see that the larger the generator, the lesser the mega the mega is the maximum spiritual of the machine 
for instance if let me use for instance uh, you, a gigahertz the word gigahertz it means it, this is the the rate the speed ratio the highest speed ratio the person can run so 20 is not much but it produces high that's what i'm going to say now 20 is not more it produces high now let's go ahead this is the megahertz now 500 now look at the cell generator now this is the sun generator the generator as this now is 500 kilowatts 500,000 watts 500 kilowatts not one kilowatt so don't confuse one kilowatts 10 kilowatts 20 kilowatts 30 this is one kilowatts 50 100 200 300 400 500 that is half of so half of megawatts so is 500 now with 500 companies that you just use 300 if you go to if you go to the company and want to scale it out many community as as they are they just use 300 kilowatts to power the whole community sometimes use of a community look at the transformer they use ask them what is the capacity the transformer the transformer capacity will tell you the community conversion ratio the capacity they can consume so this one is 500 500 which means it can take the whole community and still have a reserve as my community has 300 kilowatts or 300,000 kilowatts commission and I have 500 I already have 200 reserve so let's continue now The ratio, the speed ratio of the generator, the rate accumulator runs is not that is in a very high ratio, but the capacity alone can tell you the generator is of this point to produce the highest because the capacity of it. Now, you can see that this is the label of commission. You can see the configuration of this now. We are talking about three phase here. You can see the capacity of the whole thing. If you look at it through, you see the label of the generator. Let's continue. Come on, come on, come on, come on.